Hello, I'm Shuan and welcome to Renovate, the show where we help needy families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. The family of a special needs child is dedicated to keeping her alive. It's not about taking care of her, it's about taking care of the whole place. But their small three-room flat is not conducive for caregiving and is showing signs of wear and tear. The hazards around the flat pose immediate danger to the safety of the family and child. So the floor is very slippery. I have to really, really make sure that my steps are in a good position. Can Renovate step in to make this home safer for this family? Life did not start easy for six-year-old Shifa. She was diagnosed with a rare neuromuscular disease and has spent most of her life bedridden and bound to medical equipment. For her parents, Talfan and Sofa, they face an immeasurable challenge to keep their daughter alive. When uh, last admission, when she's Shifa have bleeding, right, because I'm so panic on that time, right? So I keep crying, so I don't know what to do. Shifa is a special needs child who has been on life-saving machine support since she was four months old. She has spent all her life with limited motor function and struggles to breathe on her own. With Shifa's condition, she has this uh, rare medical condition, which is the diagnosis called Nemali myopathy. So the Nemali myopathy is the whole uh, internal or outernal uh, muscle is weaker than us. So like the food pipe also like loosen than us. So the only way for her to live with uh, the machine support, she needs all these uh, medical appliances to support her in terms of her uh, living and breathing. Shifa spent the first two years of her life in and out of hospital. It was a challenging time for the family who was struggling to understand Shifa's ailment. We always uh, bring her emergency to emergency, ICU yeah, because she could get money, pneumonia, I think, uh, Few times, five yeah. to six times. So at first we thought he's just like a baby, like, you know, warmy, that kind of stuff. But actually it's not, it's a severe reflux. So one of the professors mentioned that uh, she needs to be uh, operated. It's really hard time for me. La, because uh, we as a mother, we never imagine our few months old baby need to go to a major operation. We have no choice yeah. for the best uh, to save her, then we need to go through. Then I think we need to learn to be strong from her also. Eventually, the family were presented with the option to perform an invasive surgical procedure called a tracheotomy. Although the procedure comes with significant risks, it would allow the family to care for Shifa at home. Change the key, okay? Must change the key. That's our last uh, operation for Shifa. Yeah. She doesn't have to in and out hospital again because we can settle at home. Bringing Shifa back home meant that the family had to learn how to perform simple medical procedures. But that in itself comes with its own challenges. Our house is full like, like ICU. And no, 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 no compared to uh, ICU and, and to our house like, at that point of time. When your child has a trachea, it's not about taking care of her, it's about taking care of the whole place, make sure that the whole place uh, is quite clean, you know. Actually, it should be very, very clean. The house is clean and well-maintained. But one thing they cannot overcome is the space constraint. The biggest problem, if you ask me, is a proper sleeping area. We have two rooms. Okay, The girls, the three of them, will stay in their common room. Since uh, Shifa's medical bed is outside, so Shifa will sleep with us on the, our queen-size bed. But if we need to bring Shifa out from the room, so uh, Shifa will be at this medical bed, like you can see, uh, for a few days. Then uh, both of us will sleep at the hall. 
Although space is an issue, there are more serious problems in the home that pose an immediate danger to Shifa. Because bringing Shifa to the toilet is, is another major issue. La, because uh, how we bathe Shifa is we will bring her to the toilet and give her a good bath. So the floor is very slippery. I have to really, really make sure that my steps are in a good position. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, good. Yeah, I can say that my family members are very understanding. I have three, three and other daughters, which are girls also. I can say that they understand. Yeah. In fact, now they can, some of them can help doing some of the medical works that what mommy did. Lah. It's just about focusing on her and how to move on and just move on all the way. Yeah. No other like back thinking or bad. Yeah. Yes, I'm Taufan. Hi, Shua. Nice to meet you. Hi, Shua. Nice to meet you too. Can Shua. I come in? Sure. Please come in. Okay. So tell us uh, about your family. Yeah, uh, I'm, I have four daughters. Uh, the first one is uh, 14 years old, then followed by 13, then 10, and then the last one is Shifa, which is the 6 years old. She's a, a bed, bedridden child. Yeah. So my wife is the main caregiver. Uh, so she's the one who always being with Shifa, who did all the daily work for, for Shifa. Yeah. So where is Shifa? Okay, Shifa currently is not at home because uh, she was admitted in the hospital. For? Yeah. Uh, for it's because she, she had this uh, emergency at, on last Saturday. So uh, because the nose and mouth was bleeding. So the blood came out from the nose. Dalvan tells me that emergencies like this have happened a few times. And each time, they have been life-threatening. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's, it's okay. Actually, this... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a what they call it. It's a journey for us, lah. Uh, for yeah, because uh, Shifa is a special child, so it's part and part and parcel in our life. Yeah. There's a hole there. Oh. So when they did this fogging, yeah, every month, <gasps> so there will be a, a, a cockroaches will <gasps> enter. See? They come out from the hole. Yeah, they come out from the hole. Oh my yeah. god. We never imagine our few months old baby need to go to a major operation. Our house is full like, like ICU and no 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 compare to a ICU and, and to our house like at that point of time. Despite the medical scare over the weekend, Taufan is confident that Shifa will be discharged soon. For now, he has agreed to give me a tour of the house. Okay, so actually, how do you use this space as a family? I see that you have a couch and then you've put the yeah. chairs from the dining table. Do you guys kind of like sit around? Yeah, actually, if you can see, everything is here. Of course, this is Shifa's medical bed and this is our family area. La. The living room is kept tidy. However, there are too many obstructions that can pose a danger to Shifa, especially if they're trying to move her in and around the flat. Can you show us your daughter's room? Okay, come. Okay. I can show you my daughter's <laughs> okay. room. Yeah. Yeah, okay, hi. This is my daughter's uh, room. Oh, this is awesome. the girl's room. Yeah, okay. Uh, the three of them sleep here. Ah, okay. Uh, but if I work night shift, one of them will shift to my to my, to my room. Ah. Uh, this is the pull-off bed for, for the other one. Ah. So she will always sleep here. At first glance, it looks like a charming room for three young girls. But on closer inspection, it is evident ah. that the space is struggling to hold itself together. Okay, I noticed that this light switch here says do not use. Oh yeah, I, I, actually it's the reminder for them not to touch. La, because, oh, don't touch it! Uh, oh, okay, but I touch it. <laughs> don't need to show. Because this one, uh, I think the wire, there's a problem. So it's like, uh, there's a spark there. That's why I bought them this LED light. Okay. But no, like, LED light is just a temporary only. La. The DIY LED strips that line the edges of the ceiling do not provide sufficient light at night. Perhaps a more permanent solution is needed. 
All right, let's check out the rest of the we'll house. We'll get a shoe All right. See you later. Yeah, please come in. Sure. Okay. This is my main master room. If you can see, this is our queen bed. So me will be at the corner, mommy will be at the middle, then Shifa will be around here. Oh, so, is there a reason why she has to sleep inside? Oh uh, yeah, initially the medical bed is uh, in the room. So she will be in, 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 in this, this bed. Lah. So, but because she got school, then doctors and nurses usually also come like every week, like every month. So we thought we want to have a bigger space. Lah. Wherever Shifa's bed goes, so will all of her medical equipment and supplies. Because of that, there seems to be no space for much else. I noticed also that actually in this room, you only have stuff for Shifa. You and your wife don't ah, have yeah, anything in this good, room. Good, good, good question, because uh, initially our wardrobe is here. Ah. Yeah, so because we need to put the medical bed in, right? So we shifted our wardrobe to our daughter's room. Right? Okay, so this is our, our toilet. So usually this is where I shower Shifa. Ah. Uh, so I will just carry her all the way here. Can I just figure out the logistics? Uh, because the space is, I mean, right now it sounds like there's three people going right, to three be people, in here. Three people in this uh, toilet there. Ah. So I will just sit here. Okay. I will just sit here, I will carry Shifa. Ah, so Shifa here. will be on you? She will, and then mommy will be standing here. Oh. So she will do all the shampooing and then and all the showering. And I noticed there's a rubber mat here on the floor also. Oh yeah, because the floor very slippery. Uh, especially when you have a wet floor, yeah. or your leg is wet, then yeah. it's going to be That's very dangerous. dangerous for you, especially when I'm carrying Shifa. So yeah. this is to protect me from slippery. This is a serious fall hazard. Taofan is merely one misstep away from tragedy. It sounds like there's a lot of moving back and forth between the bathroom, the bed, and the outside, and Correct. then back again for Correct. different things. Uh, because once you carry her, Shifa will develop more secretion, the phlegm. To reduce Shifa's movement around the flat, Taofan hopes to demolish the storeroom. This will create more space for caregiving. All right, and then we have the kitchen. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about the kitchen. You can see here, it don't really look like a kitchen. The, the cooking place is the other side, but, uh -huh. uh, but uh, on top of that, we also have a storage problem. Yeah. So are these working? Working, working. Ah, uh, so, okay. uh, so far, my wife, she likes to do bakery. Ah. She likes uh, bakery. She likes to do all kind of uh, cakes. Mm. If the oven is here, then when she wants to bake, how, how do you guys use it? I will put on the washing machine. If not, we will just put there, then the plug is here, right? the socket okay. is here, we will just use it. Right. But then it seems as though it's kind of difficult to access the equipment mm -hmm. that you might want to use. It's quite difficult because right. uh, there's no proper storage. All, all of the places are all not in an in a organised manner. The disorganised kitchen is actually the least of their problems. As Taofan brings me further into the kitchen, I notice something worrying. Uh, yeah, I have one big problem yeah, issue here. What? Okay, while I tape this, uh, there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's a hole there. Oh. So when they did this fogging yeah. every month, <gasps> so there will be a, a, a cockroaches will <gasps> be enter. See? They come out from the hole? Yeah, they come out from the hole. Oh my yeah. god! But the main problem is uh, that's why I, I tape it. See? I see. Yeah, so uh, like every, like every one or two months, I will have to change the, the, the tape. Lah. With a special needs child resting just one room away, the last thing this family needs is a cockroach infestation. All right, thank you so much for explaining to us what's happening sure. here. And um, what we're going to do is we'll come back another day with the ID mm -hmm. and sure. see what can be done. Sure, okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Cannot off one. 24-7 ah. <gasps> cannot off the light. Taofan's family home could use a do-over to support Shifa's caregiving needs. Hi! Hey, Shuan. Are you Leon? Yes. Interior designer Leon is up for the challenge. Are you ready to go meet the family? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's All right, go. Cool. This way. This should be here. Hi, Hello. Taofan! Hi. Hi. Hello, Hello. Shuan. Yeah. Shuan. I'm back. <laughs> this is Leon. He's our Hi, interior Leon. designer. Sure, please. Taofan has agreed to let Leon and I inspect the house. 
I'm hoping that with Leon's designer eye, we can find ways to improve the home for the family. All right, so this is the living room. This is where the family hangs out quite a lot. This is Shifa's hospital bed. So right now, uh, she alternates between sleeping outside here or inside the room. I think it's definitely not uh, ideal for the hospital bed to be in the living hall. Um, I think the living hall should be a space where the family can gather comfortably and so maybe we can look into that to allow better maneuverability between the two spaces. Yeah, I mean, what do you notice about the space? I think it's very dark inside here. Mm. Yeah, although now it's very sunny outside, but we don't get the sunlight inside yeah. the house itself. Yeah. The downlights are dim with a narrow light spread. They don't provide sufficient illumination in a large area like the living room. So actually a centre light will help to brighten up the whole space mm. better than a lot of lights around the edges. Mm. Yes. Ta-da! Mm. Actually it's very big, right? Yeah, it is. This is a huge yeah. kitchen. So I think the proportion of the whole space is a little bit disproportionate. The kitchen is almost the same size as the living hall. My feeling, right? The kitchen feels brighter than the living room. Yes, it is. The main sunlight actually comes in from this, this side of the house. Yeah. So actually taking down the wall would be a good idea because then the it light is, will come is. all the yeah, way through. And probably improves the ventilation by a lot more. A cute story about these pots mm. and pans. Yeah, They're uh -huh. new and he's had them for like a year plus now, but he said he don't want to take them out because they're too nice for the kitchen. Oh, let's make the kitchen nice enough for the pots to be out here. <laughs> good, I love that. I see these tapes around. I think there's some popping issue with the plaster on the wall. Leon will only be able to find the cause of these cracked walls when they undergo renovation. But he's noticed that the problems have spread to other areas. I think it seems to be like moisture marks around the pipes, mm. suspecting that it could be a water seepage issue. We have to investigate further. Lah. So we got to get some, maybe get some waterproofing specialists to come and observe and see what we can do to improve the situation. All right, and this is the mm. master bedroom. Okay. So the bed used to be here, mm. but because, I mean, it's quite big, it takes a lot of space, so there's not much left for the doctors and the teachers and whoever mm. to come in, mm. like for school. So, right, I think yeah. to do that, we need more space. Uh, we look into the space planning, like maybe expanding this room could be one option. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and then the, maybe that bed can come inside and she don't have to move between places so mm. often. I think this light is very bright. Maybe mm. we should turn it off and see how the sunlight comes into this room. Okay. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Cannot off one. Eh? 24-7 <gasps> cannot off the light. I think given that the house has been here for, for more than 30 years, the electrical wirings might have some faults in, in the, during this long run wear and tear. So probably we have to look into some wiring works and the capacity of um, power points in the house. So the light was blown. Uh, hopefully Leon will be able to pull this off, you know, because it feels like they really have a lot on their plate. So whatever we can help them to get rid of and make easier for them, we want to do that. It's been close to three weeks since I last met Leon. I can't wait to see how he's going to make the home safer and more livable for Shifa's family. Maybe I can show you the comparison between the original floor plan and the newly proposed floor plan. Okay. Right. Leon has some bold plans for Dalvan's home. The entire layout is going to be overhauled. If you notice, I have removed the storeroom. Yeah. And make use of the space to enlarge the entire master bedroom here. By removing the storeroom, the master bedroom will have more space. Shifa and her parents can sleep in the same room and have easy access to the bathroom. However, this is not the only big change that Leon will be making. The most important thing is that we have broke down the wall that is segregating the kitchen and the living space. Mm. So by doing so, we actually counter the problem of the darkness inside the room. There's itself. more light coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we invite the lights from both sides instead right yeah. now. Yeah, so we don't cut off the, the sunlight coming in. By hacking these walls, Leon essentially splits the house into two parts, the rest areas and the living areas. If you notice the old layout, there is like a small little corridor space that leads to a three-way doorway. So I think this is pretty much of a waste of space. Yes. Uh, we can get rid of this and gain access to the rooms directly from the living and dining hall. 
Instead, the doors of the room will be converted to sliding doors. It's a clever design feature that saves space in a small three-room flat. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. Mm -hmm. I think overall it's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, it feels like it really reflects who they are, so I'm very excited for them to see this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leon. This is amazing. You're welcome. It's moving out day. For Shifa safety, the family is moving out of the home first before I come in with my volunteers to clean out the flat. Yep. We've settled the family at the hotel and I am here with... Team Renovate! Are you guys ready? Yay! Let's move! Right. Hey, Michael, Michael. You and Shuan and Ophelia, you want to, want to move this thing out first? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I need the living room to be clear also. Okay, let's go! We will no longer need this because we're going to have non-slip floors. Packing is underway. But honestly, there's not much to do. <laughs> okay, we got this label too. Store, store. These are all going to the warehouse. So neat, everything is just so neat. The condition of the flat uh, actually is very clean. Everything was packed already. Um, also not a lot of packing for the volunteers to do. Look at how fast these guys are wrapping. Look at this. Just look at this. I need lessons, man. Now that you're standing here, you can really see how hard they have been working, just holding everything together. You can see the masking tape on the wall, the padlock on the window, the cupboards. I'm, I'm very excited for what we can bring to this house and hopefully make their lives a little bit easier. The rubbish chute area looks completely different. Yeah, so it was quite uh, horrifying. Really? Yeah. What, in what way? Uh, maybe I should show you the photos. Oh, I want to see yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 